Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. See, in previous session, we have seen the practical session that's actually 9022Q LAE801P motherboards. Uh, I how it will work before pressing the power button, right? In the similar way, we have checked now without RAM what are the voltage it will get, and before pressing the power button, and after pressing and without RAM, how it will work. What are the main main signals we will get? What are the voltage we will get? What are the characteristics of this particular I.O.? Everything we have noted down so that I am going to explain now. Okay, we will discuss one by one before pressing power button and after pressing power button without RAM. See here before pressing the power button and here after pressing the power button without RAM. Okay, one by one we will check what are the voltage we will get. 0.3 we were getting see previously we were getting it's a signal and now it's a 0.3 volts means 300 milli volts we are getting in the adapter id 0.4 400 milli volts see it's a power led before it was nil now it's a 0.4 processor heart ec see the signal from the cpu i think so it's coming to the io it's it's telling processor heart is normal one so that's why we got it's a one volt board id board id voltage divider will be there through that voltage divider this pull up through this pull up this voltage we will get see this one is thermal information before also was there i mean before pressing the power button and now also is, it is there 3.3 .3, multiple are there see before pressing power button what are the nil those were not available and what are the yellow color marked one those were available now after pressing the power button without ram see all voltage will be 3.3 .3. what are those kbrst before it was nil after it is there irq frame ash ad3 see please note down this ad3 and all now we are getting it's a 3.3 .3, but here signal should be there hmm? okay ad3 slp s3 AD2, AD1, AD0, PLTRST. See, this is the most important signal. It's input from other side. It's a PCH or uh, this one. Uh, what is that? CPU. So, from many places it's coming. Okay. It's an input to this IO before it was nil and now it's a 3.3. PM SLP S5. See, before I mean without RAM also we are getting PLT RST. Some people will tell we won't get uh, without RAM. Hmm? Okay. Next uh, uh, SLP S5 we got SUS acknowledgement SUS ECI AC LED mute LED out uh, BI battery information. VGAC bat CPU DGB uh, what is it it's a debug one CPU debug we are power good that also we got EC mute EC GPIO system power okay see in this section system power also okay also good 3.3 PME ash we are on see here we got the we are on without what is that ram okay this goes to cpu ic right lan power enable data touchpad data battery charge led caps clock ac in sys on pch rsm rst see pch rsm rst means from io it's uh, rsm rst will go now that is the one main power on that's for uh, ram section ram voltage and all we got but the thing is ram communication with the cpu not done okay dgpu power enable that also you can see pch power enable one volts vs power good power ac okay ec on when you press the power button ec on will be the first signal okay on and off lead switch sus p sus p ash see SPISI this one for BIOS BT Bluetooth on EC power button out ash see here we got here power button right on and off 
but one more signal this this is the output what are the on and off is there no that is the input one input will come to the io when you press the power button that the indication power is pressed that indication will go to pch through this power button out okay this power button out next slp is 4 next dpw r okay sp chip select 0 these all having 3 volts here it was a nil and some signals were available before the pressing power button see 3.3 3.3 what are the common everything here also will be common adapter id see here before pressing the power button also we got now also we got one volts this on vcc st one volts we got here see clock 2 data 2 clock 1 data 1 clock 1 data 1 will be available before pressing the power button after pressing the power button clock 2 data 2 started it's a communication channels right bidirectional very very important point it's uh, seven what is that pin number 12 clock pci ec for ec it's a 24 megahertz signal started it's a crystal right 24 started to its input it's it's going to the io see it's a fan pwm speed 1 pwm pure pulse we got 3.3 volts because here fan is running continuously right so that's why we got the pulse see this is a keyboard side hmm? this is a vcc a it's a what is that analog input and pch power okay here also we got some signal 3.3 volts and signal 8 volts here one uh, uh, extra thing we got it's a kbl on ash it's a 4.8 volts when we test the uh, dso pin here ec rst ash then it will turn it off because it will be enable no it will be it will become ground so in that case power will go means board will get off and only signals little, little signals we got in the keyboard side kso side that's it vcc also 3.3 sorry i left it blank <coughs> see this is the major difference don't ask anybody you have to do the practice by practice only you come to know what are the voltage or what are the signals is generating and in what stage it is generating so you have to feel it so there's the reason i am telling you have to practice it multiple times see you are the students you are paying to us but you have to do the practice if you are paying us we are showing you then there will be no use right so i will be the most exper experienced person in that in that case so you have to become an experienced person in that case you have to do the practice okay this is the method this is the exact method exactly what are the voltage is producing everything you come to know in this stages if you do like this practice okay don't go blindly some people will tell after this after this after this no you have to practice it you pra practice it then you come to know what are the after voltages or after signals so next signals i mean next practical session will be there once it completely on so thoroughly what are the voltage and what are the signals what are the pulse we will get and what are the crystals will be enable what are the communication between the processor and io those things in next practical we will check okay if you have any queries or any doubts so put it in the comment or send me the telegram so i will clear it out okay thank you thank you students bye